Yes, my people dumb. CFC with this blue back with another video. And it is Wednesday, man. I hope you guys have an enjoyable Wednesday. And yeah, man, thank you for your support on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this match preview. And remember, there will be a watch along tomorrow starting at 7 p.m. The match starts at 8 p.m. So join my watch along and we can discuss the team news and hear my reaction as the game goes on. Let me know your score predictions down below in the comments and the winners will get a shout out in the review. Thank you for your support throughout the week, throughout the year. I appreciate your support on all the platforms. So thank you again and I hope you all have an enjoyable day. Inshallah, man. But now let's get into the match preview and obviously Conference League. This is a competition that we are expected to win and that we should. We haven't lost so far during... The league phase this is going to be our third game if i'm not mistaken we've already played two games and we've won both now i would think that fc noah a team who was founded in 2017 this is a brand new team and even though we're not meant to obviously what's the thing called put down our opponents we are chelsea fc and we are in the premier league this is a team that is in the Armenian League and they don't have the same, what's it called, the same structure, the same financial support that we would have. And that's why we are heavily favourites. And while we are heavily favourites, throughout all of our Conference League games, even if we play against a team that's, that's like Real Betis, we are meant to be doing better because we are the strongest team, the most valuable team in the competition. And tomorrow's game, it's going to be another outline to see where our players are at because majority of our players that will play tomorrow, they don't play regularly. We are going to make 11 changes like we always do for our Premier League games to our cup matches or Conference League games. And this is just what's going to happen. And it's going to be up to guys like Joao Felix, Christopher Nkunku, Renato Vega, Mikhailo Mudrik. These guys need to cement themselves and hope that they can put in a good performance that can help them eventually start some Premier League games not to mention Enzo Fernandez as well so hey man it's going to be an interesting game it's going to be an interesting match we are a team that is heavily favourites and if we're going to be honest we shouldn't be losing to FC No, if we lose then it's just it's just dead at this point in time it's just jarring at this point in time considering that we haven't won in our last two games. We drew to um, Manchester United and we lost to Newcastle in the Carabao Cup. We now must win this match because we can't go three games without a W. This isn't something that is very good and it won't help the morale in the team or from the, or from the Chelsea fan base because right now we're going through a little bit of ups and downs. we got a guy like Philip Jorgensen who will be playing and going. There are people out there that will be saying that Philip Jorgensen, he should be starting over Robert Sanchez. And if I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not going to sit here and say that he definitely should because there is not too much difference between Jorgensen and Sanchez. They are both, they can both be as unreliable as each other. Hence why Maresco will always talk about, um, will always talk about Sanchez being the number one. And even though I don't think that he's a world beater or someone that's going to eventually take us to win the Premier League or Champions League. It's just a good thing that we're just trying to get top four. Just a good thing because Jorgensen and Robert Sanchez, they're not as good as we would hope or what we've previously seen throughout our history. So um, that's in terms of obviously Jorgensen. He's going to have to try to prove himself and there's going to be a lot of fans that want him to start over Sanchez. But... We'll see what he does tomorrow, even though it's not going to be a major impact into if he does start on the weekend against Arsenal. So hopefully he can have a good game, but I'm not going to be someone that will be sitting here saying that, yeah, he should definitely start over Robert Sanchez because they can both be as bad as each other. And what's the point of just mixing and matching and just mixes up the team's morale at this point? The only thing that can save us is buying a new keeper. But obviously... That's just some, obviously, my thoughts and opinions on, obviously, FC Noah and our situation in terms of fringe players. Esma Resco did state that guys like Cole Palmer and Jaden Sancho, they will not be available for this game. Cole got, um, 
got a tackle from Lissandro Martinez on Sunday. He hasn't been training and he's not even a part of the Conference League league face squad. So even if he was fit, he wouldn't be playing anyway. So this is nothing too major. It's gonna be it's just gonna be worrying if he doesn't play against Arsenal on the weekend. And similar to Jaden Sancho, he is someone that is in the Conference League squad, but he has been ill as what um Maresca has been stating. I don't know whether this is true or not. There could I don't know man. Jack Sancho was starting a lot of games and consistently, but then he's been dropped and he hasn't been in the squad for the majority of these games. So hopefully he can play on Sunday because we need like as many attackers as possible because Arsenal literally have one of the best defences in the league. So I hope that he's available for that game. But regardless, these guys, even if they didn't even if they don't play against Noah, we should be beating them. Like I've said, this is a team that's from the Armenian League. They were founded in 2017. They have a stadium of about 3,000 people. We can't sit here and say that we know many no players. I can't tell you I know any no players. This is a team that most people don't know anything about. But this is why they have everything to gain and nothing to lose because they are coming up against a team that's well-renowned throughout the world. They are going to be on their game and trying to do things to make us look bad, especially at home. At home, we're going to have the crowd advantage. But what happens if Noah gets some goals and just have a good performance? The, the mood is going to turn dire at um, Stamford Bridge. But that's why the players, they need to make sure that this don't happen. Because if we lose another game, or if we just don't have a good performance, especially in this competition, guys like Joao Felix, guys like Nkunku, guys like Enzo, well, not necessarily Enzo too much, but guys like Modric, Renato Vega, they will be able to start too many games in the Premier League because we need to perform in this competition. We are head and shoulders above everyone else. So, yeah, man, we're just going to have to wait and see, obviously, but I am mean, expecting a comfortable win. But if we don't, there's going to be serious questions asked. So let's just see what the game's going to be like. And in terms of like some match facts for this game, I don't really know too many for this match. So FC Noah and Chelsea have never played each other. So it's going to be the first time for this. So let's see what happens. But now obviously I'm going to go through my predicted exile for this game. And my predicted exile will go like this. Philip Jorgensen in goal. Right back. Axel de Sassi, centre backs, Tosin Adorabayo, Benoit Badi Show, left back, Renato Vega, CDMs, Enzo Fernandez, and Kanan Drewsby Hall. On the left, Mikhailo Mudrik. On the right, gonna go with Pedro Neto, Cam, Joao Felix. Striker, Christopher Nkunku. Hey man, Pedro Neto, he has done well. And if he doesn't play this match, he'll most likely play in the Premier League. Noni Madweki, he could come in for this match. But we'll have to just wait and see. Tariq George will also be in the squad. He could get a chance. You never know because whether it's off the left or the right, these guys can play multiple positions. So we have to just wait and see. But my prediction side is as follows. As what I already said, Philip Jorgensen, um, Axel de Sassi, Tossin, Badia Show, left back, Renato Vega, CDMs, Drewsby Hall, Enzo, on the left, Mikhailo, on the right, Neto, Cam, Drow Felix, Striker, Christopher Nkunku. These guys, I hope you all have a great game and I hope that we just get back on the winning run because we need to start winning a lot more games. We haven't won since the Newcastle Premier League match, but we haven't won multiple games for a while now. So we need to start this run, especially because we have Arsenal and that's before the international break. So hopefully we can have these last two matches this week and go into international break on a high the same way we did before. So hopefully that is the case. And my score prediction for this game, I'm going to go with a 3-1 Chelsea win. I'm going with a 3-1 Chelsea win. That's what I'm going to go with and we shall see. Hopefully it's more than that, but we shall see. But I'd like to thank you guys for your support on this preview. Make sure to check out the live stream, which will be going live in just over an hour. And yeah, man, have a nice day.
in a bit, my people, them. I'm CFC Redis Blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.